Hi guys, and welcome to another video. Today's video, we have a quick drugstore get ready for work with me video. Just using drugstore affordable products only. Nothing high end, none of that. Things that you can pick up at the drugstore or Walmart, Target, wherever, Walgreens, CVS. I used Color Rain eyeshadow though but I consider it to be drugstore because it's so affordable that I wanted to include them in today's video. So if you want to see what I use, how I got this look, what did I feel at the end of the day, how did it work, how did it work, then make sure you keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, jumping right into it. I'm using my e.l.f. Cookies and Dream along, my, along with my Wet n Wild Impossible today to prime my face with. I think I'm back to the drugstore. I was stuck on the YSL for a minute, but I think I'm back to my e.l.f. Cookies and Dream. Every time I pick it up, it always reminds me why I love it so much. And I'm going to use my Revolution Pro blur to fill in my smile lines along with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and Mahogany to color correct with today. I just really felt like doing a drugstore face using drugstore products. Drugstore products are my top go-to only because they are affordable and they actually really work well. They work really, really well. So I tend to pick up a lot of drugstore items from Revlon to Wet n Wild to Elf. Yeah, those are some of my favorite, but they never steer me wrong and I can always count on them. So yeah, I'm just blending in the primers and everything in my face. I don't know why my camera settings is having me look so orange today, but I think I fixed it. This Revolution Pro has, I mean, Revolution Blur has really surprised me. I brought it thinking that it was something that I could substitute my MAC Paint Pot for when I ran out of my MAC Paint Pot. Like, it would be something that would hold me over until I can get my hands on another one. But I've been using this instead of the MAC lately. And now, a couple of days, uh, the dark spot is slowly fading. I've been using some Shea Moisture vitamin C oil and that's the Revlon color stay in number 600 cinnamon I know my videos are out of order because I feel like I uploaded a tutorial using this foundation already but this is the actual wear test of it so I know like my videos are like totally totally out of order and don't worry guys after vlogmas I'll start putting back in the description the items that I have been using in the videos but I, for vlogmas, I've just been telling y'all, hoping that you all watch and listen to your products that I'm saying. But I know some people like for them to be in the description box or at the vlogmas. So I'll start back putting them in the description box. I want to learn how to link items. I found out how to link like stuff from Amazon that I enjoy. But stuff that I buy from like Ulta and Sephora, I got to learn how to do that one. But we'll get there. This Revlon foundation, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I, I love the old formula. This is the new formula. Both of them are the same to me. I don't see much of a difference. This is a great, uh, excellent everyday foundation. Everyday work foundation. If you wear makeup every day to work, like this would be so good versus you having to use your more higher end everyday and then running out of those running out of it really really fast this would be excellent and of course I'm using my shop miss a brush along with my Cara beauty sponge to blend everything out I ended up using a color rain eyeshadow palette only because in my mind I consider them to be drugstore because they were so affordable it's kind of like a morphe or kind of like a color pop this is the Neutrogena creamy concealer in pecan radiant creamy concealer in pecan the Neutrogena you can pick this up from I get mine from Walgreens and I'm using it to highlight underneath my brow and highlight my normal areas my forehead underneath my eyes my chin and my cube as well
I go all out of order some days. Some days I go this way, I go left, and some days I go right. <laughs> it just depends on how I feel that day, what I do first, what I do last, what step I do first, what step I do last. It really don't matter to me as long as the finished outcome is good. Thread Beauty 210 to contour with today. I need, I'm going to find my Morphe filter effects in number 18 just for old time's sake. We can use that for old time's sake. And I'm taking my Revolution Concealer and Define Concealer in 11.2 to give me an extra pop of highlight. Because the pecan, it was doing a little bit, but that Revolution is going to take it over the top. And I needed to moisturize my lips with my Laneige. I think this is the overnight lip mask. I'm not mistaken and just blend everything out with my Cara Beauty sponge it's time for me to swap out and get a new sponge I probably use the same sponge like for a week if I'm being honest maybe two weeks <laughs> maybe two weeks and then I'll switch them out and don't be like me y'all be better than me wash your makeup brushes wash your sponges often do all of that good stuff and that's probably why I broke out on like my chin area because I wasn't washing my sponges and makeup brushes like I should. And we're back to the junkie desk and me looking for something as usual. Yeah, I know how that go. I'm looking for a sponge and then I mean a brush and it's a dirty brush at that. <laughs> <laughs> to blend everything out <laughs> next up I'm taking the back of a sponge I believe this is a shop miss a sponge only because the reason why I say that it's a shop miss a sponge is because it's so hard it's so much harder than my car beauty sponge so I use the back of that to blend out the contour I have more control of it because it's so hard I'm not a fan of it to do anything else like blend out my foundation or concealer so I just use it to blend out the contour I have to put it to work somehow so that works out I thought I sped these clips up but obviously I didn't I kept it in real time black opal around the clay girl I'm gonna use that to set every highlight area I highlight it with the concealers been loving this powder I haven't tried a black opal foundation in a while I think the last one I tried was actually a skin tint which I loved they don't come out with foundations often but when they do I almost always love them this powder powder just sets amazing it doesn't crease or crack and i think the shade is perfect it's not too bright but it's bright enough it's more on the neutral side and i've noticed lately that i've been leaning towards neutral when doing my makeup so here i'm just taking my colored rain and desert sand to base my eyelids with it's more so my skin tone but the base it works it makes whatever eyeshadow you're going to use that day it sticks no problem that base works I gotta see what uh, what uh, eyeshadow palette I know it was colored rain uh, I'll see once I start but I know I only use two shades today which made the look, you know, a little better, a little faster. It wasn't like I had to really think about eyeshadows. So yeah, botanical. So it was the botanical. So I'm going to use that burgundy shade at the top and then that glitter shade right underneath it. I use the kind of like, it's like a blushy shade, like a blush shade. I use that to put in my crease and my outer V. Then I use the glitter shade to pop on my lid and those were the only two shades that I used.
and I took my wet and wild blending brush this was a new one at that I used a new one to do this look today um, and sometimes I say that I'm trying to create a shape a different shape other than what my eyes are but they always end up being round background <laughs> I want some days I said I'm gonna try to wing it out, but then it looks like I'm gonna fly away, so I go back to round. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just packing it on and blending it out. Oh y'all, Vlogmas is almost over. I think this is gonna be like day twenty-three. This is going to be day 23 when I say <laughs> Vlogmas is a no joke. Like it's a no joke. Like you have to constantly film, constantly edit to make sure that you have an upload ready to go every day. So I'm not going to say that it was all bad because I enjoy doing it. It's something that I enjoy doing and challenging myself to um, be on schedule, to be on time to make sure that it's done so so far it's so good I have to knock on wood because I don't want to jinx myself and then we get today what 24 and then the videos stop coming so we're gonna keep trying to be consistent even throughout the new year consistency is key it won't be a video every day but I'll give it like three to four times a week I'll have a video I hate to give myself a schedule Let's just say I give myself a schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Then that puts pressure on me to get a video out Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But if I just said I'm going to do three videos a week, no matter what days they are, as long as it's three videos a week, then I'm good. I can do that. But no, I can't make myself set a schedule for specific days because that'll throw me off. So I'm just taking the matte shade and smoking out my lower lash line while I already had it on the brush to kind of uh, make the steps go by to kind of like speed this up a little bit because I was going to work but you can't tell from the way that I'm sitting down doing makeup like I look like I don't have anywhere to go like I'm just taking my time right. <laughs> And then I'm going to pack the glitter shade, which it was a really, really pretty though. It was like a mauve glitter shade. It was a really, really nice. And I did not have to use like any glitter glue or any of that. As you can see, I didn't have to spray it with any water. I didn't have to do any of that. All I had to do was pack it on my lid and I was good to go. And it gave me, it gave me the right amount of shine, sheen, chrome, foil. It gave me all of that. I don't know if I didn't do makeup like before I went to work every day I don't know what I would do from the time that I'm getting up and getting ready for work like <laughs> I have no idea what what else I would do <laughs> if I didn't do makeup so yeah I enjoy it I love doing makeup in the mornings getting ready to go out the house I love it so yeah I'm just packing it on I think this right here is actually a Cara Beauty brush that I got in one of their sets a long time ago and I finally put it to use and I think I want to say it's like a like a smudger brush it's not even like a eyeshadow like a whatever kind of brush y'all know what I'm trying to say y'all know I don't know my um, brushes like that I pick up any brush as long as the shape looks like it can do something then that's what I use and I use the matte white shade in that palette to highlight underneath my brow I think I did because it doesn't look like it's really really highlighted maybe I was going like really really easy really really light handed with it because I was afraid that I was gonna look like 1999 uh, let's see what I'm pointing at oh I use the same shade Ooh, I love that brush though motor brush from Amazon that Konafa K K not from the Warriors palette from Juvia's Place I use that to contour bronze and all that good stuff today you might as well say Juvia's Place is drugstore I consider Juvia's Place to be drugstore 
Yeah, I love that brush from Motor Beauty. It's, it's a contour brush and it came along with like, I wanna say a, a highlighting brush or a concealer brush or something like that. It was a set of two for $5.99, but I absolutely love it. Absolutely. And then I'm taking the same matte shade and I'll use that for a brush blush today. Ooh, strong and stronger on the cheeks, huh? Than it than it was with the eyes. Oh man. Some days I can go overboard with that blush. You hear me? But it's all good because we're gonna fix it. It's not gonna stay that way. We gotta fix it. I can't walk out the house with rosy cheeks. And then my Maybelline Superstay Powder in 355 Coconut to set the remainder of my face, blend everything together, no harsh lines, no streaks, no extra powder sitting on the top of my forehead, sitting underneath my eyes, just making sure I brush all that powder away so that my face has an even canvas. Some days I do the powder, then the blush. Some days I do the blush, then the powder. It just, I tell you, I don't know. So for lipstick, I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible and Yum to line my lips with. It's the very dark, dark brown shade. And that's what I line my lips with today. I took a ColourPop pencil in Stiletto to fill in my lips with. I was like, well, if I take a, a lip liner, you know, it's, it's a lip liner, it's a light lip liner, and just use that as my lipstick, I felt like the staying power would be longer, and that it was. But of course, I, I could have left it matte, but I went and put a gloss on top. I had to spray my face first. But see the pencil right there, color pop. If it'll focus. And this was a very muted uh, nude shade, as you can see. Like my combination. I went from a lipstick that shade to lip gloss that shade to a now I'm on a lip liner that shade. It's like I can't get away from that shade. I love that shade. And it's it was more cool. So my lips were more cool. And I added a gloss. A clear gloss, yeah. The NYX Butter Gloss in Clear because as you can see, my lips were looking really, really strong. And I was like, wait a minute, y'all looking too strong. Like too, the lips was overtaking the eye look. But when, y when I get to the lip part, it's like, see, I gotta blot. I'm gonna blot my lips because it was doing too much. When I get to the lip spot, when I get to the lip part, I'd be all the way confused. But I think we make it work. Uh, a Sephora lip gloss. Yeah, it had more pink in it. I needed more pink to calm that darkness down, and I think we're fine. Hi guys, I'm back. This is the completed drugstore work look that I was able to create. I really am impressed with that Revlon foundation. It was sitting on my desk, I don't know where it is now. But I'll come back at the end of my work day just so you can all see how it wears. I did pick it up from Walmart for $11.98. I'm gonna lotion on. So uh, yeah, we'll come back and see how it wears throughout the day. But I think it looks really, really good really light well there's my cup good thing i was looking for my cup um it looks really really light and it feels light that's my main thing i don't want to feel like a heavy foundation on my face especially throughout a long work day it's full it's full coverage you can build it up how you like but you still don't feel it so i enjoy that and i consider color rain to be drugstore because they're so affordable but I say every time I apply their uh, eyeshadow, I'm impressed. Like that was my first time using these shades, and they stick with no problem at all. This is the eyelash. They stick with no problem at all. You always have that one lash that 
just don't want to do right yeah but this is the completed look guys i'll come back and show you how my face looks at the end of the day with the revlon foundation see you later bye guys hi guys i am back after a 11 hour might as well say work day and this is how my face is looking you know i got a little shine but it's not bad you know it's more so the lights than anything so let's get my makeup brush no product on it just whatever is left i feel like this is beautiful this is a beautiful foundation and it didn't separate it didn't transfer which i can appreciate automatically and it's only $11.98 at Walmart. But let's blot our face so we can see, you know, if we blot, are we back at square one? What y'all think? Ooh. We back at square one, y'all. Just a little bit of blotting and I still have a full fresh Face. it still looks fresh like I could leave work and go to another event and still be good that's the kind of the foundation I like affordable and it works it says what it's going to do on the bottle and y'all know this morning I was looking for the foundation like how do I use something and like two seconds later I have no idea where it is it's crazy that, that goes to tell you that I need to organize my life where in the world how I'm going to use it tomorrow if I can't find it today. Okay, it's right in front of me. Oh, and let me show y'all the time. So it is 4.45. And I had it on since, let's just say about 5.15 this morning. So yeah, this is how it's looking. But yeah, 6. And if I didn't say I'm in the shade 600 Cinnamon in the Ollie Combo. And I'll zoom in to show you mm, right <laughs> I love makeup like this I love drugstore makeup that actually works like you don't have to go out and buy the most expensive thing to create a look especially for like if you're going somewhere like work like who wants to put on their most high-end foundations just to go to work if you can find like a drugstore that can get you through so this right here is for all the combos so you know it's matte right so i paired it with today i paired it with my radiant cream neutrogena concealer so i have a matte foundation and a creamy concealer and that's how i somewhat try to balance my oils throughout the day because i know that i'll get oily in my t-zone perfect combination i'm good to go if i had somewhere else to go I will go there, but I don't. So, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, I'm going to see you in my next one. I think I'm going to do a quick haul right quick because I got some Black Friday packages. So, see you in the next video. Bye, guys.